I am Paljindoji from Bhutan. First of all, I would like to thank you for accepting my movie to be screened here in Poland. This movie was done almost like 12 years uh, ago. So the, I think I have forgotten most of it, what I did. <laughs> what I, this Actually, this movie was inspired by a song called Yak Lebil Hadago, which means good yak, good uh, animal. There's a song which was sung by uh, uh, a nomad uh, cowboy in north. So this song was sung during the Third King's period. Mm. And this song talks about the yak and his life. His yak and his life. So how kind this yak was to him and, uh, and how you know, he felt very sorry to lose his yak. So this, uh, the song inspired me to write the story. So it, this movie was done uh, on a tape best format videotape, you know. In those days, uh, the digital hasn't arrived in Bhutan yet. Bhutan is uh, always believe in killing is sin. So, and, it, and we heard, uh, you know, the yaks are being slaughtered for, for, a, to a, for a barter system in the south. So that's why, you know, we, sometimes they kill yaks. So, and uh, if, if we make this movie that, uh, you know, it, and show it to our people, our, this movie, I mean, the target audience is the Bhutanese in general that after after seeing this movie after watching my hope my actually the the hope after seeing this movie at least one could stop eating yak meat <laughs> and i of course i stopped i never eat after that i never eat yak meat no more <laughs> after that movie i never eat yak meat and we actually never thought of uh, the film version for a Western audience. We have this movie was actually almost like two hours long with uh, uh, four, with uh, four songs in it. And Bhutanese are used to watching Bollywood movies, and without songs, people don't actually enjoy the movie. So actually, yeah, this movie was not uh, not liked by the, the my target audience, although there were songs in it. Because of maybe because of the killing scene in the movie, mm. so they don't want to watch all this gruesome, the blood, the sanguinary. They don't like it, you know. So it was quite fearful, but of course, then you know, it, since the audience didn't like it, it was shelved for almost like ten years. It's never screened. But in the recent uh, recent uh, film festival here, it was held in Thimphu, Bhutan. Then the, this movie was uh, some. Then somebody asked me that if I have a movie to be screened for the festival because they had less movies to be screened, no? so they wanted to increase the number of movies to be screened for the international audience. There were some uh, people from Europe, um, the, the, I mean uh, Southeast Asia, and so many people from different countries were gathered. So they wanted to see something uh, different. And I said, uh, very old movie, you know, it's with the producer. And I said, okay, we'll screen it to a selected group of people. Then the, the, the audience included lots of uh, Europeans, you know, the international audience were there. So I was in the, in the beginning, I was quite uh, skeptical about it. Mm -hmm. People may not like it because this movie was shelved for many years. They, they didn't like it. And I said, you know, uh, let, let us screen it. Then after screening, we for this uh, purpose, we we actually cut down, we took out the songs, we subtitled it in English, then it was presented for the festival. So, and uh, shockingly, everyone in the hall, they, they liked it so much. They were big applause for the movie.
I was quite relaxed then. <laughs> so they liked it. And I said, yeah. Well, so they, uh, our audience said didn't like it, but uh, some international uh, learned people, you know, the filmmakers really uh, liked the movie. So I was quite happy, excited. And, mm -hmm. mm. Actually, the, the originally this movie was set in a in a different place. Actually, the the song belonged to a different uh, section of uh, uh, nomads in the north. We have uh, different tribes in the north. So this uh, song was sung by a different uh, section of nomads. But then they they were like uh, almost, they they look like uh, any other Bhutanese like go and uh, short hair no but uh, the the movie this the the movie that i shot the place where i shot a, uh, a different uh, ethnic group mm -hmm. so not many people know about these people here so i have selected this uh, location in laya they are, they are called layaps which means uh, people from laya they are actually nomads and of course they have this permanent settlement they live um, in the, in the mountains and these people never had gone outside and we want to show something different from uh, the normal movies which are always uh, shot in in the town cities and you know and i don't want all this modern uh, you know the whole whole message of the movie is you know like uh, because of the modernization you know how things change people become more materialistic and then you know want to convey this message also besides the killing and other religious uh, the sentiments i want to convey some different message here okay this is one the, the main uh, theme of the movie is you know the the modernize, modernization creeps in we lose the value of our culture and tradition you know? so this is just to create an awareness among the viewers to say that you know we we have to preserve culture through you know i mean by creating awareness among the you know the viewers mm -hmm. now i think uh, because of the because of the modern technology with uh, with mobile phones with uh, lots of uh, internet uh, you know now i think uh, many people know that they are not uh, just an island they know that there are some uh, lots of existence behind the mountains now they know but uh, there are some people who still think that we are just we. Mm -hmm. 